Hello, my YouTube friend, Pop Comics here, and today we're going to the Brooklyn Comic Invasion. All right, let's go inside. Hey, Kyle. All right, I got a handshake, everyone. Hey, Ian, how are you? Hey, Chris, how are you? Oh, is this where all the good stuff is? <laughs> let's look at these wall books real quick. We got the Rifleman up top. We got the Rifleman, Street Fighter, Spawn, Matrix, Dark Hawk. We got, uh, oh, David Nakayama, that's cool. Nice Dawn stuff. Hey, Ralph. We got, oh, Spidey 300, 8.5. One of these days I'm gonna get one of those, probably in about that grade, because I don't want to pay a lot for it. I feel like it's common enough that I'll fall into. Ooh, that's nice. First, uh, Batgirl? That's on my want list. Some Harley Quinn stuff. Let's see what we got here. Alright. Got some big boy books down there. Ooh, a 9 0 for 700. That actually feels like a good price on that. Okay, let's see what else we can dig up. Eric, what's the coolest thing you have today? Probably this. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely on my want list right there. Yeah. One dollar. One dollar. I will think about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I gotta start somewhere, right? Let's say the price is right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Without going over. <laughs> hey, Lou. All right, I got to look through Lou's boxes. I didn't do that last time. I owe you a good look. I think he's all set with these two for now. We're going to probably swing back. All right, let's see what we got in here. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Silver Age goodies. I was into it in the 90s, so we're like getting all back into it again. I'm doing all right. Uh, I don't even know where I want to begin with today. I'm just. I spent way too much money yesterday at the Five Points Festival. It wiped me out. At Five Points, the uh, toy show. Yeah, the uh, it's. Thank you. Appreciate it. Me too. It's uh, once a year they have a like a designer art toy festival in Brooklyn. Yeah, this this week has been packed with so many things to do. I'm just a bit overwhelmed. Uh, by the Barclay Center, is that Fort Green? Or like that? Yeah, I think it's Fort Green or the edge of it. Yeah. Okay. Man, you've been to a lot of cons, I know. Yeah. <laughs> If I could do it every day, I would. <laughs> I know, right? So these are five for 15. For you, yeah. Okay. <laughs> don't worry. You'll give me a good deal? Yeah. All right. For you, don't worry. I love your videos. I watch your videos. They're great. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I wish you would open up in the morning. <laughs> no, I know. Well, on the weekend I do. Yeah, well, weekend is noon. Weekend's noon, but during the week, it just there's only so many hours we want to work a week. I, we used to do a lot more hours, but I don't think I got more overall sales, so we just decided to, to cut back. Uh, there's a few. 
There's um, Com- yeah, Greenpoint, and then I guess Desert Island would be the other direction. Yeah, yeah. Can you help me a second to squeeze that back in there? But can you help me just put that back in? Yeah, every once in a while he'll have really amazing dollar books. Hey, Kathy. All right, I'm going to come back. I'm still orientating myself. Okay, I got to remember. Mike? I got it. Okay, I had it reversed. Hey, Jason. If anyone wants to know, Jason's over here uh, digging away. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, everyone's like, where's Jason? I'm like, God, he's there already. Oh, my gosh. Oh. I can't do this. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah, we could do that after. I don't even know if I want to start. I don't know if I want to start. <laughs> I feel like once I start digging into your bins, I'll, I'll spend five hundred dollars. All right, let's go over right here. Yeah, this is where I want. Yeah, Eric just rolling. He's like, "Do you want buy thirty boxes?" <laughs> you gotta get warmed up. Yeah. <laughs> You find, oh, you find cool um, horse All stuff. first, Indy. Yeah, 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 I love that stuff. And a, a bunch of mask replacements. Yeah. Nice. Get my number one mask. Uh, he just put a handful of first out. What, huh? Yeah, I just saw him. Ooh. There you go. Here, I'll help you dig. Help <laughs> Jason dig. You need Badger? You working on Badger? I think I've got my first, like, year of Badger. I'm okay. sticking with that. Okay, you got to read it first, basically? Yeah. Well, well this is the full Sierra Badger right, right here. It really is. Oh yeah, first adventures. I've get, which one is it? I've it's uh, number, number one. one. Okay. Oh, those are cool too. Oh, that's the first appearance of uh, Atlas. Ooh. Do you think you guys have any Silver Age or Golden Age, or you pulled that all out uh, for me? I saw some really bad shit out for you. Okay. It's random in here. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right, maybe I should come back. <laughs> I mean, it's. Oh, yeah, Ian was looking at that before. Absolutely trash condition, <laughs> but for a dollar, it's like... I'm thinking the water damage has made the interior really crumbly, too, which would, which makes you can't even use it, like, to salvage it. Amazing, though. Amazing stuff. Yeah, definitely. This is the proper way to dig a dollar bin. You pull out your wish or your want list, and you buy out the select few is the fill not like me where I just like start pulling it all out like a crazy <laughs> throwing it in a box yeah uh, Jason can you help me just or Mike can you help me just stick that back? yeah okay thank you all right I'm gonna look around I'm gonna come back I'm gonna let everyone else have a chance to get the best stuff before I, I start digging it all out you're a good man for that <laughs> yeah yeah I listen I am the worst hoarder slash like greedy son of a bitch when it comes to comic <laughs> books. So I have to purposely say I'm not going to go and take it all because I want everyone to have a chance. You should put that on a t-shirt, but it might be too big. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, because honestly, I'll come in and I'll just be like, all right, yeah, I'll take that box and that box and that box. I don't even want it, but it's a comic book, so I'm going to take that box. Someone else might get it. All right, I'll be back. Hello, how are you doing? It's going all right. I'm going to look at your uh, wall books for a little bit. See what we got on here. Nice first uh, New Teen Titans. First Peggy Carter. That's Captain Carter. Uh, X Men. Oh, first um, Zatanna, but it's missing the title, so it's the remainder. That's a spoiler variant. Yeah. <laughs> That's true, and it, it now she's on the cover, right? Yeah. Yeah, she's not on the cover normally, so that's actually pretty cool. It's her first cover appearance. Yeah, exactly. 
Very cool. This is my invention for collectors. It's a sidekick. You store your raw books and short and long so basically it's, it's in there to hold it back so that when you're sorting it doesn't flop forward that's awesome the box is in full you don't want this book to flop around getting bent damaged yeah creased, that's my problem a lot of times i'll be sorting a thousand things at once and like boxes start falling down and increasing exactly. spines so you add some more to the box you pick it up move it reposition oh yeah that's super Made cool in the USA. and how much do you sell for Here's my original so $12, 5 for oh <laughs> Awesome. Very cool. Yeah, when I have shows, these are twelve dollars each. Or five, five for fifty. 50. Yeah. I have to get some eventually. Just when I'm getting back into big sorting mode, I think I want some. Just oh, where are these uh, prints? Yeah, a little poster prints. Oh, those are cool. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna search around. I gotta kind of orientate myself. Yeah. We'll Definitely see what's here. Hello, how are you? Hello, Got Rodney Ramos here. Lots of amazing artwork. Marvel, DC, Valley, you know it. Lots of classics. Super sweet. It's cool that they have a, you know, a real artist here. This is awesome. Don't cry. <laughs> There's some amazing books there. Do you have any Golden Age stuff mixed in? I just sold a few. The last one I have left is uh, probably that there should be a couple of 10 cent packages. Where are you hiding those? Up there. I know there's one up there. Oh, this guy right here, the detective. That's pretty cool. And there should be some in this box. Okay. I don't have any left. Because he just bought like 10 of them. <laughs> Wiped you out. 10 cent covers are hard to keep. Yeah, no, you don't, that's gold in the city. <laughs> That's gold. It, is gold. it is gold, but it's actual gold. That's why they call it golden age. Uh, yeah, I think he wiped you out. Oh, the special number one. That's cool. I actually don't know if I have a copy of that. I gotta dig. I haven't seen my copy in years. Okay, I'm still doing my initial loop. I'm, I don't even know where I want to dig today. I gotta look at this wall first. I love that cover. I have that one already. Sonic. Oh, this is cool. That's really cool. Let's look at the graded stuff. Stuff is killing the children. Okay, I have most of that stuff. I'm so torn. Do I dig the dollar bin? Do I dig the nicest stuff? Cartoon stuff. Okay, I can buy a Jerry Lewis. Do you know if you have any more Jerry Lewis? No, that's gonna be the only one. That's the only one. Okay. Oh, but Sugar's Bike for a dollar. Yeah. Okay, I found my first two purchases. <laughs> You make it look like it's a fancy box, but it's a dollar bin. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, there's some fun stuff in here. I like it too, because everyone's over there fighting in the dollar boxes, and like, I can be here calmly pulling out these amazing books. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
the wedding clothes? He was just, he was funny. Because he was like, like, he walked by me and he was dying like, he was so gross. Like, so gross. Yeah, you're back. I'm the only right when you walk in. No, no, that was like, it was funny. It was funny. Yeah, this box is great. Do you have any other genre? Do you have any romance? Do you have any... So any of those are going to be there, but I do have some stuff that may be mixing the dollars here. Okay, I'll check that out too. They were free for a reason. It's just because all the superhero stuff I get so easily, oh, but yeah. I love the genre stuff because I don't see it that often. Can you just grab that stack for me? Yeah, thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, the old war comics are amazing. I'm happy. He was like one of my favorite. I such a good price on these, but I have all of them. A lot of stuff yeah, no, fantastic prices. You're giving it away. Man, I love that cover. I have that one though. Where? Oh wait, do I have? I don't know if I have number six. No, I think I do. I think I do. Well, I think now sixty six is the first one, correct? Yeah. Is this a rare book? So that's her first appearance. I know, I have 50 of them. I'm just saying. <laughs> Everyone has like 50 of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, I love these covers. I used to pick them out of dollar bids all the time. I'm just like, finally, they're worth $5 10 years later. Sweet. Ooh, peach. You have any other rare peach covers? Yes, they're in there. They're in there, okay. Yeah. I gotta dig. You just made me dig every single box you got. <laughs> See, this is why I like to do the radar search. You kind of run the room really quick, and then you find that little honey hole that you really want to dig. First Spider Boy! Looking everywhere for that. <laughs> How much is this guy? You got it 40 on it? It feels like, like it's right on the edge. I take it, but it's got like one tape pull. I'll take an offer on it for sure. 20 bucks. Okay. All right. I don't even think about it anymore. <laughs> gonna have to put one more tape pull on yeah, it though for 20. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> like I don't mind the spine damage too much, but like the tape pull is what gets me every time. Oh, you got the uh, New York Comic Con one. Yeah. I got my two as well. Okay. Okay. Waiting in line to get it. Oh, you got some cool books in here. Oh, sweet. Love that book. I have four copies of it. But, oh, we got first uh, X-23. Oh, you got wall books in the box. Oh yeah. Yeah, because I don't have a wall right Yeah, now. so this is technically the wall bin. Yeah. Uh, I need to get one of these, but I feel like it's common enough that I'm going to just get it in the collection, but I've been waiting about 10 years. Okay. One of these days, I feel like I need to pull the trigger. Now, that's a fantastic book. Oh, <laughs> and then padding, we yeah. have the other rare book. <laughs> Question is, which one is rarer? I know. Okay, add those to my okay. stack. 
Uh, I look through that. Okay, so you think there might be... It should be here. These are all... This is all Superman. So, okay. Yeah, I don't need to look at Superman. Not that I don't like Superman. I just thought it's like every collection has Superman in it. Okay, let's see if we find anything good in here. Oh my gosh, this is a dollar bin, so I almost just want to just start grabbing stuff. Okay, that cover is actually kind of nice. Oh, whoa. Yeah, I'll take that too. Read it. Saga 1, read it. If you have it, read it. Do yourself an amazing treat and read it. If you don't read it, you, uh, you're you missing out on the universe. Oh, I should... I really get in the habit of buying stuff for my shop. I never do that. But I think I'm going to do that today because I'm running low on Spidey stuff. There we go. I wasn't really planning on doing this. Oh, hey, Leslie. I was not planning on grabbing a lot of dollar books today, but I think he's changed my mind. Like, it's not in great shape, but for a dollar? Are you kidding me? Dollar? Yep. Oh, sweet. I still have to apply for my, uh, um, my vendor passes thingies that I get every year. There's so many events, it's hard to plan every single one. Oh, the Phantom? Uh, it's a little bit rough. A little bit rough. Oh, I see you have more treats at the end of the box. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't... You can't be a, a comic vendor unless you own, like, 80 of those. Because every collection has four of them. Oh, She-Hulk, I'm going to grab that for John Ford. I did. I brought my cart specifically for if I bought a giant pile of stuff today. Ah, these are amazing for a dollar. They're kind of beat up though. But if you just want them to read them, a dollar is a fantastic price on those. It's, it's a river. That's why I say it's a river. Right? Most people think of a pond. It's not a pond, it's a river. Some is flowing in, some is flowing out. You gotta spend some of it. Uh, it was. He's with Jason. Those are cool. Oh, I like the red, white, black stuff. Oh, Michael Turner is kind of sweet. Oh, wow, that one's dope. I don't think I've seen that one before. Catwoman, Tron Daddy, Defenders. Yeah, a lot of Defenders. First, uh, first Superboy. Do I buy it? No. You take, you take the front, I'll take the back. Spider Man, Spider Man. Alright. Spider Man, Spider Man. 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 
All right. I think I looked at it all. Add me up. Let me know what. I, oh yeah. All right. Sean, you're at ninety. Ninety. Eighty. Eighty. Okay, sweet. Amazing prices, and it gets even better. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. you. Uh, this is, it's the D23 Expo. How limited are these things? There are only 25 in the world. So there's only 25 in existence. Uh, someone looked at this once and it lost 10 grand. <laughs> okay, so are we, uh, are we going to Dormammu this? Are we going to start at the lowest price you ever are? And then we work our way to middle? Like if I go, Free, because that's usually what you do, and then you you. <laughs> How about I give you five dollars? You okay? I'll I'll do it. <laughs> I need to figure out what I need in this run, because like, my desire every time I see these is to buy every single one I see, but I have them all. I think. Don't resist that emotion. This yeah, this cover does uh, fucking emotion. rule. I think, do you have anything new? I feel like I'm already looking at this box. Oh. <laughs> I've seen him already. <laughs> the master, oh, right there, new this week. <laughs> uh, yeah, basically the deal is um, the, news, the, the prices just keep on going down. This is an, this is, this is an awesome book. I know, one, do, one dollar. Up just a little bit. $2. I doubled it. <laughs> That's easy. What do you want? I'll take that. That's where you make me an offer, remember? Uh, this, is the, this is the game. Make me an offer. Yeah, but you're my friend. I, 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 I can't rip you off. Of course, oh this is the one book I like out of. Of course, because it's the best book here. I know what I'm looking for. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Teen Titans. We got the first Black Fire. I feel like it's underrated. Uh, oh, you got Vigilante 1 for 10 bucks, And th this is the make the deal box, so. Oh, wait, wait, all right, all right. we're gonna try. <laughs> I'm dying with you. One dollar. Take it or leave it. Blind? Just yeah, just blind. Blind deals? Yeah, one dollar. <laughs> Uh, it's priced at one dollar. I would have paid you full value. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. You almost got full value out of me, but you wanted that. Look at this. Kyle's charging ten times the value. <laughs> ah, this cover is this is underrated. I think. I think so too. That's such an awesome cover. I think and I said that last month when we signing, saw it. He's signing out of CGC. And he can do remarks. He yeah. Remarks for, I think, 120 bucks. You need to become a professional remark engineer. You really have to do that. Because you're. I, I see so many signatures that people pay $200 to get McFarland's signature. It's like black ink on a black Spider-Man suit and you yeah. can't read it. Yeah. I'm like, can you not write a note that's like, if you're going to sign on the black suit, sign in silver ink. Then it pops, right? It really sticks out. Saga, okay. Oh, is this uh, is that a, a B cover or a variant, or is that just a regular cover? This one is crazy because we have two hundred dollars on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, but isn't this like, the rare variant? It's a very rare variant. That okay, where did you get the uh, the price from? Because I it could be that, but I don't know off the top of my head. I got it as a sold, but I don't What's your name remember. Yeah. I, I so you did see at one point it was actually sold at that price. Yeah. Okay, I want it. I just, I don't know what I wanted at. Did, did you get that in a collection? So you got it like relatively cheap? Okay. I just want to know how much I can insult you. Like if you spent 150 for it. <laughs> okay, look, let's make a deal on Amazing Spider-Man 53 in like a 5-0 maybe, 4-5. There's a little bit of a tear on the bottom. Like, 
And he's got it in the clear back. Yeah. So exactly what I just said. <laughs> I think we're getting pretty good at this game. Oh, I love that you have those in the clear backs. Yeah, I'm kind of a sucker for the clear backs. I, like, I technically want to buy 100,000 of them for all my comics, but... The only problem is they make your comics play 100. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, a, like a, I, I clear back my ASM run. And that box. You have a short like, box, like, but it weighs like, like 200 pounds. Yeah, it's a long box worth of weight. Yeah. I think they're a lot stronger too, though, so you're not going to get corner dings and whatnot. Yeah, they're, way, they're way better for post games. Wow, this is such a clean copy. Do you have it graded? 6'5? 6'5? I don't know, I might have undergraded it. It might be higher than that. That thing looked gorgeous. I gotta. I don't want to bend any. I need my uh, tripod right now. These are too nice for me to be flipping through it like a dollar bin. Gorgeous comics. Okay. Hold on to it. Okay. okay, and then you have the cheapo stuff. But Kyle, is this all stuff I've looked at already? You think? Uh, yes, but the price is going down. Yeah, yeah. But I would have bought everything I want there. It doesn't matter. You give me a good price, so I'm not, I'm not price sensitive. I just, if I want it, I want it. <laughs> would you hate me if I offer you a hundred on that? No. Okay. Uh, one twenty-five for the pair. Counter. 120. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright, that's how you negotiate with a friend. <laughs> Yo. Thank you, Carl. There's a free joint here if you want it. <laughs> this is uh, the 50 cent box. 50 cent box. And if you want the whole box, make me an offer. I'll even deliver it to you. Oh. I mean, yeah, Flash. So what do you think? There's 220 in a box? With boards? Yeah. Because yeah. this is like, a short box is like 120. Yeah, I think it's so, 220. So 110 is your current price. Uh, uh, yeah, this is... There's all kinds of like... 80 bucks? Okay, put a lid on it. Don't let anyone touch it. Hey, bought a box for $80. That's how crazy I am. I literally just said I was trying not to be greedy and I just bought the whole freaking box. <laughs> you know, that stuff's been here for what, two months, Kyle? How long have you been selling that stuff? I've let people dig through it plenty of time. That was all new stuff. Oh, that's even more exciting to me. Okay. I did that to Chris last time, or two times ago. <laughs> okay, I gotta go dig through Chris's stuff. Remember. Uh, I think I do actually. Remember the. Um Delivery cost is included. Free delivery. Free delivery. I mean, Free delivery. honestly, that adds so much value. All right, so this is $3, two, two. Yeah, but for you, they're all two. All two? Okay. Sweet. Look at that. Friend deals. That's why I tell you guys, you got to come to this event. Everything is friend deals. I have, I remember you were I watched the video recently. You said you were looking for like the radium black one. Yeah, I do want to put that together. I'm not sure what I have off the top of my head, but I pick them up every time I see them. I have a lot of them. I have even the spin-offs. Oh, really? Do you have any of the rarer variants or just okay? There's some early. Are they in the bins here or? Okay. Listen, 10 years ago, that's 10 years in jail or 50 bucks. Now it's for free. That guy right 
Oh yeah? Okay. Oh, you you got those for yourself? Is there more of those? Yeah, there's a few more. Right, I might have to go dig it. Yeah, I love stuff like that. Is that for yourself or are you selling those? I'll probably end up selling that. Alright, well you just let me know. <laughs> Cool. All right, I'll buy a foily comic. Dude, is that a one in ten? You think? I, I don't remember. It might be. Cause it it says nine, so it's definitely one of the later variants. You know what it is? That's her first appearance, and that's like her design cover. Yeah. I have the, uh, the cover A somewhere in that too. Yeah, that cover's kind of gorgeous. Wait, who is... Yeah, that's signed. I guess it's a new artist. I think I got a bunch of these from you last time, the whole set of those. Okay, so these are all... Uh, I, just, I don't know which ones I need off the top of my head. I'll give you a really good deal on the whole... What's that? What's a good deal? Buck each? Yeah, buck each. Okay. Yeah, just pull those out for me. I'll take them. I'll take the pile. And then, but then if you need the number one... Uh, I mean, it's all right. I, I, um, I might have the number one. I'm not 100% sure. I just think the cover art is so great on those. Yeah, it's... Uh, Kyle Higgins is the writer in... Uh, is this the same $2 each? For this box? Yeah, yeah, you could do yeah. two dollars. Okay. I can't resist my Howards. I don't know what I need on that series. Yeah, those are pretty cool. They are cool. I, one of my uh, patrons is looking for them, so I told him if I see him for a buck or two, I'll grab whatever I see. Because I'm pretty sure I have a full run of them. some more X-Men on the side right there. Okay. Just X-Men. Okay. I'm guessing these can go in here now. Yeah. Okay. Let me just finish going through this box. Finch cover. Yeah, I love them. I think I have all the eight covers. It's just the rare... Um, there's a few of the rare ones I'm missing. All right, add me up, see where I'm at. The regular radiant flags. Okay. Um, and then you want the spin offs as well? I'll do a bucket piece on these. Well. Yeah, I'll, I'll, everything. That's fine. I'll take them all. How often do you find stuff that you kind of want for a dollar? It's not. You have to hunt for that kind of stuff. Hello, how are you? I want to make sure I get everyone's art in here. Super cool. Hey, Javi, can you give me a hand to let's pop that over there? Um, can you do me a solid? Good old taxi. Awesome. Some comics. 
Hey, Ted. All right, very cool, thank you. Okay, let's dig, oh, Golden Age. Here we go. Yeah, I've been, I'm always looking for Golden Age. I didn't realize you had a whole box full. Oh, wow. Everyone stole all my money already. Dang it. Oh, are you? Okay, cool, cool. Oh, very cool. Oh, Bob, oh, what number is this? Number nine? Okay, that's a maybe. It's just like right on the edge of, like if it was maybe like a 3-0, I'd probably want it. Hey, David. Change of interest. Man, I kind of want this whole box. Okay, so why do you think this is a two five three zero? Is there anything I'm not noticing on here? Can I open it up and look at it? Okay. Yeah, open it up for me because my hands I'm filming. Professional uh, comic book opener, I can tell because you, you got to remove that tape. Nowhere near the book. So it's mostly just a tanning issue. Yeah, a tanning issue. But no other major like rips or no, tears. It's a nice looking book. Yeah. Okay, I think I'll take that one. For golden age, you can't go wrong. No, I, tanning, you almost can't avoid it. It's like, I'd rather have it tanned than missing big pieces yeah. of the cover. A little writing on top. Yeah, yeah, but that's that doesn't really bring it down. I think it might be even a little bit higher, maybe like a 3, 5, 4, oh, maybe. I'd rather be conservative yeah, yeah, yeah. than non-conservative. I appreciate that. Listen, Especially if you price it that way. A little spot here, I don't think you notice, you know. It, it looks very nice to me. Yeah, That's the I buy so much Golden Age that I just like. Yeah, that box is you, Golden Age. Yeah, you get very familiar with damage types, and this is mid grade for Golden Age, basically. Yeah, uh, Ravage 2099, right? What's that? Ravage 2099. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you have any for a dollar? <laughs> probably in the bin. So yeah, I gotta find more. It's just one of those books that are. It's everywhere. It was the big talk at the time that it was going to be like a major thing. If you look at old comic price guides and stuff. Like Everyone, yeah, the, all the wizards and stuff, people are freaking out over it. Who knows, maybe it'll be something. You know, we finally have Spider-Man 2099 in a thing. Yeah. But that still is not as big as it should be. Yeah. Wow, this box is gorgeous. Yeah, you should have seen what was there before. Oh, you mean I missed all the good stuff? Uh, I am mostly um, Robert Crumb stuff, but that's all crumb. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, that whole collection I picked up, the box is all crumb. All crumb? Okay. Then you're speaking my name. When that documentary came out like 20 years ago, I just became a huge fan and have been collecting it since. Are you streaming now? Yeah. Making everybody jealous? Yeah. <laughs> I'm streaming on my, uh, just my walking channel, then I edited it later into a, a comic video. I figured that was the best way to do it. That way I have the best of both worlds. What's that? Definitely give us a oh, of course. What's your your uh, Kyle's, Kyle's Comics? Yeah, you're here all the time. Yeah, we got a shop. Yeah, Kyle's Comics, amazing. Did you have Golden Age the last time you were here? No, that's why I I would be coming here first every time. You just gotta make sure this box is here. <laughs> I love Golden Age. Yeah. No, that no one kept them. And those, you know, that did survive, they're 89 years old, so paper's not made to last that long. It has, and the, the values of Golden Age are the one thing that are going up compared to everything else that's dropping. 
but I feel a lot of the golden age is the same people buying it that sound back to each other. You think that's what it is? Well, the thing is, it's very, very small populations of this stuff. There's like five copies if people want it. I feel the same guy selling it back to you got it too low, okay. You you buy it, overprice it double, and then a year later, ah, oh, this is too low. Like I always say, buy what you love. Yeah. I say that too. Buy what you love, then you'll always love to collect. You know, a lot of people buy stuff to speculate, and then, like, it goes down in value, and then they get pissed off. And, and... I always say, sell your drugs to buy more drugs. Yeah. That is correct. And people are always saying, you're getting high on your own supply. I'm like, yeah, but it doesn't disappear. I can resell it later. Uh, I did buy an entire long box. I'll get that one. Man, this box is awesome. Yeah, yeah, you have stuff very fairly priced. Like, uh, most of it, if I bought on eBay, probably you have 50% more, so. Fantastic. All right, let me see if I can first afford yeah. this pile. 10, 20, 30, 40. We're at 90. Do you have any wiggle room on that? Perfect. Perfection. Fair, right? Yeah, very fair. YouTube guy. Yeah, that's me. That's me. <laughs> We're live right now. Oh, we are? Yeah. You want to say hello? Cool YouTube, I like your shows. Oh, thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> you are awesome. Uh, okay, I'm gonna look at the underground stuff real quick. All right, Gabriel says that he uh, only pays 90% below eBay prices. That means you're not gonna be buying comic books. Yeah, not here. I mean, you're getting friend prices, but not like steals. Yeah, not not like you whip out a gun and... Which one? I don't know, some Lego Oh, okay. Sweet. But you said eBay. Yeah. It's the magic of uh, the universe. Sometimes you say these things. It's coincidental. There you go. Once you said eBay, it's sold. Yeah. Ah, these are kind of cool. I don't know values off the top of my head, so I don't know what I'm ready to spend on this stuff, but I absolutely love it. It's it's probably amazing prices. I just never know because I'll buy an issue for a dollar and it'll be like two hundred dollars. I'm like, what the fuck? And then I'll pay twenty for one and it'll be five bucks. Yeah, I love that cover. Yeah, no, it's rare. They didn't print a lot of it. Uh, only thing is, it takes a little while to sell usually, but. When you find the right buyer, they're excited to see because you don't see it everywhere. These are super cool. Yeah, Golden Age is up until uh, when the Comics Code came out. So like 54, 55 is when Golden Age ended. And then you have like a five or six year period that I would call Atomic Age before really the superheroes kind of caught on with the Marvel stuff. Uh, okay. I, uh, you find anything? You've got a whole... Look at this. You have Martin on there? What's that? You have an Aussie comic collector on there? No, he's... Oh, what did you find? <laughs> yeah, he's look, look what he found. Ravage 2099 number one. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> he was just saying that he, uh, he was looking for them for me. <laughs> he wants to get 2,099 copies, and I'm going to ship them to Australia. Uh, I think he just started about a month ago, and yeah, he's in he Australia. He yeah, no, I don't. Even, I think he's only like thirty or something. Uh, really? uh, yeah, I'm at uh, like ten or fifteen myself for him. Oh man, these dawn. These are all signed. Yeah, it's all signed by a lot of them. Signed by Lesnar. Yeah, those are great. 
there's a lot of rare ones in there. I'd like to get some real good for some of them on the uh, I should come to you guys first. <laughs> Other guys are throwing me long boxes. They're here. Take this. Take that. <laughs> Running out of cash. I, I tell you over there, I'm trying not to be greedy, and then Kyle's like, take the long box for me. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I didn't get them, but I found some, like, uh, silvery things that you might be interested in over there. Oh, so did you I grab them, or they're just over No, I just sort of set them aside. I don't think anyone's going to touch okay. them you get over there. I, uh, I kind of like the dollar box that Joey had on that corner. I mean, go through this one first. Go through. I haven't looked at this one yet. This is too new for me. Yeah, not, not indie or not... Fun, weird. Oh, we got a um, cool Merca set. Is this the... Uh... Oh, that's Jen Bartel, I think. I forget if I have that one. This new stuff, I just buy so much of it that I forget what I have. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I want to dig dollar. I'm trying to avoid dollar bins today. Yeah, that gets you in trouble, I guess, huh? I, just, I don't have room for it, but I end up buying boxes after boxes. I need to start sorting stuff out and selling it. You ever did a video of your collection? I can't. It's impossible. I have a hundred <laughs> some. I have, I have hundred thousand comics. Oh, what would I, so, no, no, no. so what would I? And they're all different. So what would I like? Like a genre. Well, what I'm going to do is when I there's a few sets I'm working on. When I complete them, I'll start doing like two hundred. Like my Katie Keen, I'm five issues away from it. So when Katie Keen's done, that'll be one video. I'm sort of like as you as you watch your videos, we want to learn more about you and more about your collection. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You're interested. Like, what's this guy doing? He's always buying thousands right. of things. Yeah, like I'm at a long box of Peach yeah. Momoko stuff, so I should probably just do a Peach Momoko video. Like yeah, yeah. That'd be pretty cool. It's on my to-do list. Jason actually helped me sort a bunch of stuff last week. Getting there. Getting there. <laughs> One box at a time, right? We got like five boxes, <laughs> half, 10% sorted. How many First, boxes did you lose? Got a whole nook carved out. Uh, I lucked out only half a box, half a short box. Because I, I had everything up on plastic, but I had one long box with toys in it. And then a, I put a box on top of it to keep it off the floor, but I didn't think the box underneath it, if it got wet, it would just crumble. So when it got wet, it fell apart and the one box dumped, but it was like right on the edge. So I was like, oh crap. Like my first thought was like, oh, I just lost the whole fucking box. But everything in bag and boards was fine. So it was only like the 20 or 30 that were not in bags and boards. Ah, like, oh, water, I hate it. Uh, I do not check a single thing on eBay before I buy it. I use 100% of my memory. And I know prices pretty well and I can guess values. And if, it's not, if I'm going to spend a lot on something I don't know, I'll look it up. But like, for instance, uh, Fantastic Four, $49, $9.75, that's about the right price. I paid $8.50 for a 5 0 So I know that's within. And so because I know that value, I can tell that the rest of the wall is within 10 to 20% of proper value. It's what you do is you use your knowledge of what you do know, and you see what they have stuff for. Like the 9 0 uh, Amazing Spider-Man 300, that's one I've been looking at a lot lately. So I know that's a great price on that. So because I know he has that properly priced, then I know the rest of the wall is probably within, you know, the proper 10 to 20%. So that's all I say is you look for the things you know, and then based on if you know that they're pricing everything properly, then you can look at the rest of the stuff and know that the prices are reasonable. If you overpay, it's only going to be a little teeny bit. Or if you're really smart like Jason here, he keeps whipping out his phone to check his, his uh, list of things that he actually wants. <laughs> I don't know how accurate that list is anymore. Sometimes I bring home duplicates by accident. Yeah. Especially the more dollar bins you're digging, the more likely you'll have stuff that you bought four times. Okay, I'm going to look around. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. I got to give Ian a look. I haven't looked at his stuff yet. How's it going, John? It's going good. Your boxes, I, I don't know where to start. You're off into America. That doesn't help me. I'm visual. Where did you get Be a so, no, no, no. Be a salesman. I feel like I owe you a nice dig. I just don't know where to begin. I don't. I don't like it disorganized. It's too organized. <laughs> I want a bin that I can just dig and know like everything's five dollars. No, everything's 
individually priced, but you know I'll work with you. Uh, I just think there's, what, 250,000 different comic books, so the chances of you having exact things is zero. Right. Have you seen that cover? Oh, I have it. I have that one. Yeah, I do have that. But see, he knows what I like. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful cover. Ah, good old bronze horror. Do you think you have any Golden Age mixed in? I don't. No, I don't. okay. I know that's your thing. Yeah, I just, it's my thing because it's all that's left that I need to find. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I looked through his already. I'm looking more for affordable Golden Age right now. I'm not ready to really tackle Batman and Superman and stuff. I have two comics, number one. Oh, cool. Yeah, the first issue. My, my grandfather bought it, like, off the rack. So he just bought it when he was little. He bought it in, like, 1946, I think. Or 47, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. And he bought it because it had Winston Churchill on the car. Oh. And I guess he was into Winston Churchill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what year was it? For the late 40s. Yeah, 47, so he was probably, like, a childhood hero of a yeah. lot of people. Yeah. Anyone who lived through the war and yep. stuff. So I've still got that, and it's you know, it's not in good shape because he didn't keep a bag of board every day. He didn't see <laughs> bags of boards. Well, I mean, even when they started to exist, he just didn't. Yeah. He just sat in a cedar chest for. Which is probably years. about as best as you could have right. treated him. So it's not in good shape, and I should probably get it slapped just to protect it. Yeah. Um, and as long as you have it in a nice, you can put it in a top loader, and you'll get the yeah, same that's true. protection. That's true. That way, you don't have to worry about it falling yeah. apart. Yeah, because I don't care. It would be nice to be able to take it out and flip through it. If I want. Exactly. I just want to protect the sentimental value. Every once in a while, it's a. Yeah. And the thing is, if it's in low grade, you could probably put an extra crease on it and it's yeah. not losing value, right. right? But you're getting life value by actually being able to enjoy yep. it. Yep. I'll pass it on to my Whereas if you grade it, then you're leaving the value to someone in the future. See, I don't even know what I'm looking for, so it's really hard for me to dig alpha numeric. <laughs> I was, was going to bring a couple of boxes of just random stuff that I haven't alpha numeric ordered yet. Yeah. But I didn't feel like carrying. <laughs> yeah. No, I hear you. Because I would have had to put them under the table. Yeah. I don't like putting stuff under the table because it's easy for it to go. That's the problem with selling stuff is you never know what to bring. Right. And then you always bring like the wrong thing. Like, yeah. Do you have any um, 1950s Archie books? And like, oh crap, no one wants those. I have them at home. Right. But that's what I would ask for. Yep. Okay, I think I'm good. Thank you. I appreciate you being here. See you around. I know eventually I'll buy another stack from you. Right. I'm going over here. Okay. Right. I don't even know where to begin. Um, give me direction. Where do I begin? Okay. What would I like? You know what I like. What would you like? I mean, the keys are all. No, you're supposed to know. You're supposed to know me enough <laughs> to be prepared. The keys are always where to go. This is also some cool stuff because I got like magazines and like magazine size. Okay, I, that's calling my name. And yeah. What is those boxes? So these are the dollar bins. Dollar bins. So you got all right. The keys, five dollars. Out of one and ten, how are the dollar bins? Uh, I thought it was a seven. A seven. Okay, I might have to dig through there. Okay. Okay. And I like this. You're making it look very enticing. Those are all sets in the front. Yeah, you gotta. <laughs> anything you want to sell, you just have to have a plant there, just digging through it, like making people Always. wait. And so people are like, oh, I want to see what's in there. The payroll. That's how we yeah, yeah, exactly. I think I have the first appearance too. Which one? The first appearance. Oh, I have that one. Yeah, that one. Yeah. And yeah, I got that one from Forbes. <laughs> uh, there was a thrift store that opened up an original right. color of the monitor. Yeah? And we had a Not a big deal. Alright, so for like a hundred bucks. Every time I had like a couple bucks in my pocket, I'd run in there, buy a couple of bucks, and come back. Always. Oh, yeah. The Golden Age comic books. What is this? Is this like a reference book from. Oh, no, has I a whole... think it's got a bunch of uh, covers and, and other stuff in there. When does it come out? 70s? 76? Oh, yeah, 76? It looks very 70s to me. 77? There you go, 77. How much do you want on that? Five bucks. Five bucks? Okay. He doesn't have the Golden Age for me today, but he has the book reproducing <laughs> the Golden Age. That's also... The Golden Age stuff gets picked up Let's so see. quickly. That this... doesn't stay in the box. No, I know. Minutes. I know. It's hard to get. So this book came out in 76. So... The... The books pictured in here were about 26 years old at the time. Oh, yeah. And so that would make this 40. So this book is now twice the age since it was published than 
when it was published to the Golden Age. It's incredible to think yeah. about like how those errors kind of uh, fall in line like that. It's crazy because we have all our own connections. So anything past like '76 feels like modern to me because that's my age. I remember. It. Right. Yeah, I remember going to a newsstand and buying Amazing Spider-Man 300 on the wall. But the difference between '62 and '300 is way closer oh, yeah, than from no. '300 and today. Okay, all right. Definitely, I'll take that. Do you have any other weird reference books like that? Uh, I don't know. These are all just trades. Okay. There's not going to be much in there. Um, uh, are you picking for me? Is this, is this, is, oh, this is for you? That is for me. All right. Look at that. You just scored. That is yeah, I don't think there's anything in here that's much, you know, Yeah, I just, I went through that. I think I saw that. Yeah, yeah, I'll take those if you don't want them. I'm just pulling this to put over here. Okay. Make it look nice. Yeah. Okay. Jason's picking for me. I think I actually have another blonde. Uh, this is in uh, Williamsburg, Brooklyn. It's right, I mean, it's literally a 10-minute walk from my shop. Man, that's a great score out of the dollar bin. Yeah, I'm trying to pick up the whole series this way, and I'm going pretty close. I mean, the great covers, I don't know how good the stories are. Oh, you didn't go through that one, right? No, you want to come over here? Yeah, yeah, we'll switch. I don't need to pre-dig through it. I'm like, no, Jason, you got to <laughs> let me look through it first. I don't want you to have a chance for that one book. We'll fight over it. Uh, yeah, but... We'll fight over that Strike Force Moratorium. Yeah, no, a, a beat-up four color for a dollar or no actually i don't think that's a four color usually the four colors are the only ones that are numbered there's definitely some uh some older stuff in these dollar bills yeah <laughs> you're like i don't have golden age oh but i am giving them away for a dollar <laughs> now in color <laughs> I like to see the stuff that I missed. Like I picked this oh, up. I'm like, oh, that looks kind of cool. Like and you pulled the daffy. I, I didn't see that one. Yeah. Oh, it's because you have it's your your search thing. radar on. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's um. I need to fine tune a little bit. That's what I I've learned when I started doing garage sales for um, eBay in like the late '90s. Is I learned quickly that I had to turn off my radar because I'd be like comics, comics, co like looking for one thing, and, you miss all and that I'd piss, stuff. miss over like some like three hundred dollar item that like should have been obvious. Yeah. But I didn't look at it. So once you realize you do that, you'll be like, oh yeah, I can find you know like a Shira comic and something else. I probably have these, but for a dollar, I just... And there's one more John Carter that I need. Oh, which one do you need? Twelve, I think. It's not in there. Oh, crap. You're giving away amazing Bronze Age stuff today. Yeah. Uh, do you know what the address is here? Address 148 Frost Street. 148 Frost Street. They have a show every uh, month now. Yeah, dollar each on those. I'm even buying duplicates. That's a good price. Oh, yeah. Uh, I feel so greedy. I had someone yell at me once for buying a box. Yeah, someone got really mad at me once. I can't help myself now. It's, it's a dollar group. I had a customer come in and buy eight group books yesterday. So now I'm like, oh, I have room for a couple more. We were having the conversation about the amethyst. Yeah. I, I love just the color, the design. And the interior artwork is cool. Like, I really like the interiors of these. I'm pretty sure I have all those, though. I, I don't need duplicates of that. Ah, <laughs> oh, but Logan's run. Yeah, I can't not buy that. That's cool. Yeah, I gotta grab the Gru when I see it. I think I actually uh, I skipped this section. I should probably go back. Uh, Logan's run again? Man, this dollar box. Yeah, Jason, you undervalued this. I think I think it's a ten out of ten dollar box. Everybody watching the live stream, it's a 10 out of 10 dollar bin. Yeah, it's a 10 out Well, when I'm done with it, it's going to be a 5 out of 10 dollar. Sure, but hey, listen. 5 out of 10 is half. Of it's still day, good. Right? It's still good. For but $5 admission. Yeah, I, it's worth it, I think. I've been trying to tell people for two months now, you got to come here. I mean, it's if you're in the city, 
And you have a day and you collect comic books. Why aren't you here? I don't understand. Absolutely. I just, there's so many great deals. I literally didn't think I was going to spend a dollar today. I'm like, I can't buy comics, but. Oh, you bought the, those with allowance money. That is cool. Was that what? Uh, they're telling me that they bought the Amethyst new on the newsstand when they were a kid. Oh, yeah. Did I miss the Logan's run? All right, I'm going to go through this box a second time, I think. It should, and also I think there might be some in here, too. Okay. All right, I, I feel like I did a skip, or did I... I got too excited by something I saw later in the box when it flipped over that I... No, okay, I did do that whole box. Maybe... All right, the Logan's run, you're saying you saw some in the back? Oh, I don't have that one, I don't think. Cool cover. Super cool cover. Wow, oh, that's a cool issue. US one, yeah, I don't need US one, but it's here. Someone needs it. Come get it. Oh, John Carter, what number is that? Twenty-three. I'll take that. Oh, I'll take that. Oh, Powerpuff Girls. No, that one's kind of beat. Oh, Team Titans Go two. No, a little bit beat. John Carter six. Twenty-eight. Oh, gem. No, it's a little bit beat. The newer stuff I want kind of higher grade. Okay. Actually, can I, can you take that stack for me? Yeah, one second. It's a heavy stack, my friend. It's yes, heavy stack. that's what I do. Love to see it. All right, was it midway through the second box? I'm pretty sure I grabbed all of them, but I'll take a double look. Oh, Star Slayer, uh, 24. Oh, wait. We got a... Uh... Yeah, I'll take that, too. I like those tick-related things. Yep, tick-related. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Someone said I missed Logan's hey. run, but I think I got him. What's going on, brother? How you doing? How you doing Great to man? see you. Anthony. <laughs> doesn't even see me. Look at this guy. He doesn't even see me. He's getting his $5 out as fast as he can. Hey, Anthony. How are you? Uh, I think I actually grabbed them all. You might just not see me grab them. Because I don't think there's... I think I got all the Logan's runs. Like it's I possible. Did. If I happen to come across anything else, I will uh, put it to the side for you. Yeah. Okay. Add me up. Let me know where we're... Right, let's add all this up. Six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so 39 in total. Let me, I don't even know my own price. Yeah, 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 right? 10. Oh, they're even cheaper than a dollar. Yeah. So, let's do this math. So, the 30 so here, 20. 30 here is going to be 20. Yeah. Plus the 9. Oh, that's like And this. Uh, What's that? I'll charge you 5 for this and 5 for this. Okay. So, 30 all together. 30 all together. Awesome. Man, I was happy at a dollar. I stick to my deals. Yeah, I know. Amazing deal. 10, 15, 25, Already. Hell yeah, my man. Thank you so much. Man, I can't believe the free weed is not being picked out. It's just too easy to get. You could go to Dally and get some by mistake. You go... You go to like Salvation Army, they got joints rolling around. <laughs>
Uh, okay. I don't know where else I want to look. I don't know if I'm out of money. Damn. <laughs> I should check that. All right, guys. I got to see how much money I actually have left. All right. I have $27. You know what the best feeling is? Is when you have a budget, but you buy everything you want within that budget. I, I feel like that's the best. You want to throw me an offer on this whole box? I needed this last time. Oh. I'll give you a good deal because you already spent 120 out of it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, do you have an idea? I'll give you a stupid deal. I mean, what what were you thinking? Like, what would you need to make you happy? I mean, what is there? Uh, I would twenty, probably about one seventy bucks left. Yeah. That's a lot of money in that box. Yeah, I mean, this is ten bucks or ten. I was just saying how I got everything I wanted and I had $27. <laughs> I was like, all right, well, you want to buy a $1,000 box? I think there's a hundred bucks in there. A hundred? Okay. So you, some under 10, 10. So you have a price that probably 1200 1500 Ah. I don't know, Kyle. Like, I, I, I should buy him sell him, but... I, like I said, I'll do... Throw me an, if you throw me an offer, you would probably be surprised because I'm going to give you a great deal because you've already hit me up for 120 bucks out of here. So I'm, like, pretty much... I'm taking that and I'm, like, doubling that as a credit for you. Right. <laughs> All right, let me think about it. Like... I, I don't even know where to begin with <laughs> it. I owe $400? I owe you 400 Like, I don't have it on me, but I can give it to you later in the week? Okay. Yeah, I'll take that for 400 If you do 400 reverse left-handed handshake. Okay. Fist bump. Uh, no, I can't say no to Kyle. The thing with Kyle is he gets more books. So if I say no now, the next pile won't be offered to me. I have to say yes to everything. Yeah, I'm okay. I mean, there's books like this in here. That like, these two alone pay 100, 200. Like that's half, these four books here are half the value. Okay, put a lid on it. Shut it down, put an ILU. And free delivery. And free delivery, that's. While you're here. Anthony, Anthony, he has, he has free stuff for you. Can I interest you in any free comics, free comics? No, free now that I don't want. I don't want. But someone should take that. I miss these songs. Oh, okay, sweet. Free books, free books. Kyle, just add that to the box. Anthony, he's got free trading cards here. Ooh. And he's got more right there. Ooh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Yeah, it comes with... Oh, what, with? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will see you guys later. <laughs> You guys signed it for the card, then you realize what was in it. Okay. Alright, next Kyle's offered me the two the five thousand dollar box. Okay, I gotta stop looking, you're gonna sell me the rest of your boxes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, four, four, I'm, I'm good at four. Just write a uh, I owe you no. I got it. Oh hey, how are you What's doing? Going on? I got some Carl, right? Yes. Yes. Where are you at? You okay, yeah, yeah. Let me look. So. Were you hiding it? Oh, I, I think I looked at these actually. Oh. Uh, seen this one? Yeah, I did. See, both of those are really cool. That one, that one, and then I got the... Oh, cool. And then we've got the all prices in the grocery. It's a little bit too beat up for my taste. Like I like I, it. I know you. I know you. I like it. I don't mind. A, I'm right at about four O. Is right when I start getting happy. Yeah. You got anything else you think I'd want? I feel like I owe you a purchase. I keep seeing you and I don't buy anything. What are you? What else are you looking for? Uh, See, I know you like the variant, so I would go. I would check this. Just box, this. Okay, this we're gonna box, dig. This box and this box. Oh, that's a beautiful car. I have that already, though. You got most of the vans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Viable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this one's gorgeous, but I got that one. Do you have this 
That one's cool. Yeah, I had that one. I keep buying the mystery boxes from KRS just so I can get those. I don't. I rather spend a hundred dollars with a chance and I get it, and then I get a bunch of other stuff worth double value. I know your strategy. Because the eBay prices are like you know sixty five hundred dollars. I mean, it's worth it. It's a beautiful cover. Oh yeah. Got first vigilante. What's the best we do? Just bought my lunch. <laughs> Wait, and before you do that, I got an X Men box in here too. If you want to look at the X Men, uh, I probably do want to look at that. Keep my son right now. Yeah, I got you. I'm kicking boxes. I just want to see what my X Men box is at. Frame the alarm. X-Men boxes over here. We, we, we got you. Check, I'll, check I'll, out I'll, I'll be back for sure. Gotta get some some of these. No, I got you. Nine two nine. Are you Venmo or Zell? Zell. I'm better with Zell. Like old school. You see the gray hands? I got you. <laughs> we set now with. I'm so old school. I just put paper money in my pocket. That's it. Hey, I'm with you on that. I was I bought uh, a two hundred dollar toy at the Five Points yesterday. Right. But it's from a guy from Taiwan. So he's like, I, I he had to use his Taiwanese app to do my credit card. He's like, so it's thirty times the the. So I, I don't know what the the conversion is. So it's like, all right, so it's seventy two hundred dollars. I'm like, I hope this comes up on my credit card at two hundred twenty. <laughs> and it was it was like two twenty four or something like that. Uh, little dot is cool. Three, two, two. Five, zero, five, five. All right. Yeah, for yours it's weird. It makes you put a name. You know why? Because the most part is Right. That's right. That's right. Let me show you what it is. Did you? Hmm. What's up? Anything you're looking for? So you change your mind? Yeah, I change my mind. All right, not a problem. No, not a problem, brother. Oh, that book is cool. I think that's the first blade story. All right, Carl, Ace Comics. Yes. You got 40 on it. Would I insult you if I offered $27 on it? You hurt my feelings, but you for sure. Okay, because that's every last penny I have in my bag. And you got it. There we go. Awesome. See, friend deals. Here, we got to do official fist bump. There we go. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. My last $27 spent on Golden Age. Perfect purchase. Okay, I'm gonna look around and cry a little bit when I see things I want that I can't afford. <laughs> All right, let's do that now. I assume you'd want dollar ten cent. Right? That was a dollar? Yeah. yeah. Well, who had that? Here. Really? In the corner? Okay. No, this this Eric. Oh, this. This Eric? You had a ten cent book for a dollar, <laughs> and you didn't hold it for me. For me. Okay, we're, I'm gonna get you on film. Eric, I want you to oath, promise me, promise me that if you find any more 10 cent books anywhere for a dollar, you hold it for me. Okay, okay. All right, we're still friends. We're still friends. Okay, still appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> I gotta do that thing. I'm officially out of money, so I have to cry looking at things I wanna buy without a cent. Uh, Kyle sold me a long box and a short box. Uh, Chris sold me half a short box. I bought a couple of awesome golden ages from him. I don't know. Okay, where did I not look? Uh, some cool books here. 
Oh, Anthony wants to dance on, on screen. Yep, all right. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> I, I spent every cent I have, so now I'm doing the, like, oh, I'm going to cry if I see something I want. Dance. And I, wish I, I got you covered, yeah. Okay, okay. Official, on, the line of Anthony credit is open. open. Always open. Always open, okay. It's on video. You I hate that. Open. It's really bad, though, because I'm going to be like, Anthony, give me 50 bucks. Sure. Anthony, give me 20 bucks. Anthony. It. You <laughs> and if you buy 50 long boxes, I'll even bring you home. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I was supposed to be at that show, and it ended up not happening. 30 for $20. Then I had to do, I was working Friday night, I didn't want to take off. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. And then I had some family stuff I had to take care of, so I was like, I couldn't do it, Albert. Yeah. So yeah. what would that then, 67 cent been? Is that what this is? Yeah, 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 just about. <laughs> yeah. All right, see you soon, Tina. Oh, I was watching your uh, video yesterday at Five Points. Oh, I love that. Oh, it looks so great. So it's my fun. favorite oh, my convention each year. I spent so much money yesterday. Oh, though. I saw. <laughs> I, I think I hit like 1700 and I probably could have kept oh, even could've even going. More. Yeah, could've. the thing with that is everything is limited edition, yes. like five or ten. So oh, if I don't buy it there, I'll never You're own it. See it again. Yep. Yeah, oh, it's I my know. only chance to own. Not that it will ever have value because when I try to sell it, people are like, why, is there, why, is why do you have a blue monster? I don't know what the fuck <laughs> it is. Yeah. Right, right. right? It's, it's cool people, as shit though. It is. It's amazing. And it's still at the pier? Uh, it, no, I wish it was. It's in um, like Fort Greene, I believe. Like by the Barclays Center. Okay. It's probably like a five block walk from there. Let me go say hi to everybody right, else. Ahead, I'll, be, I'll be back around. All you right. know me. Later, man. Yeah, I haven't gone to that show in a long time. I remember when it was at the pier. Yeah, no. I I, for a while, I was in Greenpoint. I like that. I love that, that location because I could just walk right over to oh, it. Oh, yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, so the, this is really a 67 cent thing. Okay, well, I just have to find 29 more. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, I have like four people that will let me cash. <laughs> oh, so bad. Oh, I do, I do need that shirt. Oh, that's cool looking. Okay, I'm gonna try to do it. I'm gonna try to get the 30. Might as well. These actually look really cool. Yeah. The cool thing about Drifter is this is actually, I want to say, this first Chris uh, Chris Klein. Yeah. And then I mean, Nick Klein, who did the uh, Thor's. Issues. Okay. This is his first stuff in here. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, cool. So that's kind of the beginning of his career then. Uh, yeah. Like, I don't know how people are not at this show, because, I mean, stuff like this, this is amazing. We try. The word is out there. <laughs> I know. I, I just, if you live in the city and you buy comics, you should be here, I think. What else could you be doing right now other than buying 30 for $20 comics? Fantastic Four. I do have a lot of this stuff, though. That's the problem. I'm going to have to find a little section that I need. Well, there's still more books. <laughs> yeah, it keeps going. It keeps going and going. It's going. Also back here as well. Also okay. got blanks as well. Okay, but those aren't, are they the, no, no those? for five, but we can work something out. Yeah. It's nothing crazy. I'm here to make deals. Here to make yeah, I gotcha. I, I hear you. These Fantastic Fours are cool. You know, most of those 80, 90 stuff, I just have so much of it. It's not as exciting for me because it's easy to get. I'll grab a 50 cent Justice League, 40 cent Justice League. Yeah, I'll grab a couple of those. That looks cool.
316 is his. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, don't worry, don't worry. I've seen them. That's like one of my favorite covers. Don't worry. I just didn't see it on the wall. Ah, okay. So it's your fault. It's your fault then. It's your fault. Okay. <laughs> it's a new stand. Okay. No worries. No worries, man. Okay, I looked through the. Let me just see where I'm at. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, you got eight, it. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. Okay. Nineteen. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, five, twenty-six. We'll do that, get the 26, wipe out your vigilantes. Oh yeah, have another one in there. 27, 28, 29, still going. Okay. Is there any more hiding? No. All right, I'll just grab a random X-Men. Oh. Can we get 30? And you got 30. Yeah, all right, nice. give me one second. I gotta get 20 bucks. <laughs> Bank of Kyle, can I uh, borrow twenty dollars? <laughs> oh, is 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 the bank of Jason open too? I don't think Jason has as much on him. I already got the bank of Anthony. He's got he's got a credit limit of like several thousand though, which I don't want to go there. Write it down though. Write it down. Make sure. Yeah. Oh, I thought you got them all last time. No, he's got me back on the train now. Like, I feel like I have to finish the G.I. Joe collection now. You Listen, I, you can trade them in, and I'll give you whatever you spend back in trade credit, like, okay. down the road. Okay. Like, if you read point. them all, and then you decide you don't want them, because okay. that's, like, old in my shop. I should, I should have already bought them. <laughs> no, I didn't pick up the $10 uh, Vigilante. Here you go, sir. Thank, Thank you, you very much, man. I have Appreciate like eight different banks that I belong Perfect. to here. Hey, <laughs> so they keep putting new stuff in too. No, I know, I know, I know. That's the worst part. I'm a. Uh... Hey, Eric. I've been avoiding your bins, but I uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to dig. I think. Uh, Lowe's Lane 106. I'm not sure. new stuff in. Lowest, looking for Lowest Lane? No, they're just asking me if I have it. I mean, I okay. yeah, I'm looking for Lowest Lane in general. There's Lowest Lane and the other stuff that we. Uh, okay, sweet. Yes. It's kind of like Fuck yes, I'm totally down. <laughs> I just wonder if like the same imagery would be, you know, overtaken by like, the strange. <laughs> This one is weird. The spring break kind of, but it's it's like half an inch taller than the sun. Okay. So it will stick. I, I, I imagine they were like, it'll stick out and everyone will see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> they knew it was destined for the dollar bin, so yeah. they want to make sure it's very dollar binnable. Yeah. I feel yeah. like it costs extra though to make this. For sure. Yeah, because it's not a standard. They'd have to make yeah. extra equipment for that. Definitely. Cutting would have to be special. Yeah, no, it doesn't make any sense. It was probably printed on a non-comic printer. They probably just went to some random printer and they're like, yeah, let's make a comic that's book. That's a good call. Thirty-three. 
Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's look at that big. I love it. I love it. No, no, no. I don't like that. That's the next two of them for bands over the years. I like them too. And then I gave one, I gave one to Lurker Lou, and he made like a crazy weird collage of them. I found another one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a score. I'm a sucker for this kind of like the weird old stuff. I just there's a lot of weird old shit. Yeah. I like it because I'm trying to collect everything and I don't have the weirdo stuff, whereas the mainstream stuff I can get pretty easily. Oh man, did you have number two in this series? No. I think it's is number two the first lady Shiva. There's like one issue that's like a hundred dollar issue. I agree. I don't. Grease pen is easy. You, uh, Zorberine just takes it right off. Uh, quality on this one? Uh, no, that's not call my. Well, the interior looks okay, but. This is my favorite. I read this like on the Unlimited thing. Oh, you did? It's just a really good storyline? Really? <laughs> Really? It's all, you know, like this guy, he was in like some of the old, like, yeah. uh, uh, Kazar and Spider Man. It's his story. It, like, he's the pet of like, this, this really? kid. Really? It's so sweet. Okay, I'm going to buy it. No, I got, it. Oh, oh, you're buying it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You ready on Unlimited? Yeah, but I want to own it. You want this. a physical copy. Okay, I got like, you. I'm always keeping an eye out of this. I'm sorry, I thought, you were, you thought I was giving it to you. No, no, no. I, I, you just, you made it so uh, I wanted to own it. <laughs> Wait, what issue is this? Number 42. 42. Okay. Sounds like perfection. Honestly, any storyline that can get you that emotional response, whether it's happy or sad, it's amazing. No, exactly. I gotta double check, just in case. That's a beautiful beach book. I think I have that one. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know what else I want to look at. I feel like I've spent way too much money today. Got all these fun t-shirts. So do you um, sew screen them yourself? 
Oh, so you actually use the, the vinyl. So same thing with the print. You just do it directly on the shirt. Wow, that's super cool. And then she has all the, uh, the prints right here. So there's a lot of the same designs. Awesome stuff. All right, it was an amazing day. We found so many really awesome comic books and I appreciate you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.